we have really high quality beef, it's certified Angus, it's fresh, never frozen, and it's what I call minimally processed, which means that it's very gently, it's, it's made into burger very gently. And like I said, when you get here, your burger is a meatball in a drawer. So here's the drawer, here's the grill. So this is certified Angus, it's about a five ounce burger. And here's how we smash. You got this? You got this? Is, you're, the, you're the man here yeah. now. So we take butter. So this is um, clarified, not clarified. This is whole unsalted butter. We paint it on the grill just a little bit. And I love that brush. Dude. That's a little tough one. one of those at home. And then it's pretty simple from there. Burger on the butter, paper on the burger. Then we take our smashing tool, which is designed by size. And this is the important part. This is where we're going to get the sear and the flavor development. Okay. We're going to go straight down, metal to metal, for 10 seconds. There's a, I can count or you can just watch this. Yeah. And what I'm doing, guys, is I'm searing this beef. I'm developing a tremendous amount of beefy flavor. But I'm also forming a shell on the bottom that makes our burgers cook up through themselves instead of out. And that's why our burgers stay so juicy and flavorful. Mm -hmm. After 10 seconds, the burger, the crust comes off. The paper comes off, and we throw that away. And you'll start to notice that that loosely packed meatball approach, that our burgers actually cook up through themselves. They actually, so they percolate and cook in their own juices up instead of cook out. And so I like to tell people, if you make, if you cook at home and you make pancakes, yes, much somewhere. much like, when, when do I know when to turn a burger? It's the same way you, when you turn a pancake. When You're shaking your head when the bubbles come up, right? Yeah. So same idea. This is our seasoning, which you worked on really hard. It's kosher salt, black pepper, a little bit of garlic, and a little bit of magic to bring out the certified Angus beef flavor. So it's really tailored to the beef. And where there's something magic about certified Angus beef fat that makes it taste really great. Where do you source your magic? It's all natural. Okay. Yes. But it's top secret. Gotcha. <laughs> okay? So we season our burgers. And now you can see how, see the percolation? So these yeah. burgers are cooking in their own juice. Every day we sharpen these because now the key is to get that seared level uh, to come with the burger and not stay on the grill. Yeah. So are you right or left-handed? I am right-handed. All right, so right-handed technique is left hand like this, right hand on top, 45 degree angle between <laughs> this and that. Okay. Seriously. Hey, I'm, and I'm now, an engineer, I got it. The key is you got to push really hard and get that sear to come with the burger. Now, yeah. see that? Guys, so now what's going on is I turn that burger I had this great layer of flavor, and now those same juices that were percolating up, now they're moving toward this, and when they hit that, they got no place to go. Mm -hmm. So you notice, except for a little bit of butter I put on the grill, there's nothing cooking out of this burger, right? It's pretty dry, and it's done already. So it takes about two and a half minutes, and I can tell you guys how great this is, but the key to really knowing how great it is to taste it, right? And you're gonna notice, once you cut into this, all the juice is still yeah. inside, so you should notice this to be Extremely juicy. Go ahead. Extremely savory. Extremely steaky. Good. Okay. A big, big bang of beef, right? Yeah. I mean, it just comes right at you. Well. Yeah, try it. Okay. <laughs> pretty good. Now this is after eating for yes. forty minutes. <laughs> I, I just think it's really interesting <laughs> to taste it by itself and right off the grill. Because you get this, ex and that's, uh, you know, when you were asking me outside, you know, what was the vision? The vision was to create a burger that you could taste in every bite. And we, we happen to believe that cooking a burger like this really allows you to do that. So, you ready? Okay. And now you notice, once we break into that burger, now you can see all the juice coming out. So, so we have to make sure, so we actually toast our buns very precisely to keep the, to keep that burger that nice. Here, this is for you, Well, I've got to have him cook a burger. That's great. It's a butter wheel. Ready? Are you ready? ready. I'll go in slow motion. <laughs> then we can do it in real time. <laughs> okay? No, you just, you just do it once. And then it's top and bottom. And then it comes 